Hi, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing something different. I'm a really big fan of converting Warhammer miniatures and, you know, big fan of that. So today we're going to be converting the Venerable Dreadnought um, and we're going to make it a Thousand Suns variation. Uh, we're going to put some Egyptian bits on it, um, you know, making it look real cool. So before I do any conversions, I like to sketch out exactly what I want. And by sketch, I mean like really sketch. I'm, I'm not, I'm not an artist. So, you know, kind of just doodling. I want, you know, some, some greeblies on the front, probably a cool weapon on the side. Uh, and I'm thinking a big mummy in the middle. So it would sound cool. You know, the driver of the, of the uh, dreadnought. So I first, you know, start with assembling the core body there. Um, putting on each of the sides and the paneling just to get, you know, the, the rough size of it in my head. So I'm thinking I want to put like a sarcophagus or a mummy in the center, you know, as the driver of the, uh, the dreadnoughts. So dreadnoughts, you know, in lore are piloted by marines that have fallen in battle. So, you know, so I dremeled out the center there. Uh, which is a bit tricky. Word of advice, don't use Dremels on plastic. It just melts and goops and floats away. Next, I'm getting some stuff from my bits box. I found these cool covers for the feet and this cool panel for on top. I'm going to use those. We'll finish up the uh, exhaust backpack here. Um, and then pretty much the core piece of the Dreadnought is done. So I started working on the coffin there, uh, the sarcophagus, in plastic card. I cut out a backing piece, um, and I glued each of those on individually. Uh, which was a bit tricky, making sure they don't lean over or fall down. So unfortunately, this one ended up being way the wrong scale, way too small. So I actually had to start over with a larger scale. This one I used a uh, zip tie for the sides. Uh, it gave me this cool little like ribbon, ribbed texture um, on the sides. And so here I'm using a Thousand Suns head. I've actually sanded down the face on it, and I'm going to install it behind the uh, behind the sarcophagus so that it you know it looks you know more regal, more fancy. Here we're uh, creating the mummy. Um, I use a Mod Podge mix with water in a spray bottle to act as a fixer, um, and I spray this onto a napkin to get kind of a canvas or, you know, wrapping texture. So I start with this little skull um, and I have a little uh, piece of sprue attached as a little post um, to act as land on the body. Um, but I'm going to be covering most of that up. So I just wrap the napkin, the wet napkin with the uh, mod podge in it around and eventually it will harden and dry and make a uh, make a nice mummy. So here it is all put together. Um, the mummy is installed in the front there in the sarcophagus. I did manage to sculpt little feet which was nice. So here we are installing toe caps. Um, they kind of fit but you had to force them so I carved them down uh, and then glued them in place. Here you see it walking. So, you know, that'll go on the legs um, and just figuring out kind of the pose or the positions. So here we are customizing the weapons for the Dreadnought. Um, I took a bunch of pieces of flamers from the Thousand Suns kit and put them on the front of each weapon. Um, I actually did this for each weapon. So there's the twin length laser glass cannons, I believe. Here I am cutting bricks. Uh, this is chipboard, um, and I'm cutting these up into bricks so that I can use them as basing material. Uh, 
Next, I'll be using a trick I learned from Midwinter Minis, um, and I'll link that in the description, where I use one part coffee and one part black acrylic paint. Um, and this gives me a nice uh, earth texture. Um, so I'm going to use that and put that in between the bricks to kind of simulate, you know, the earth, the, the rocky ground in between these bricks. Um, ideally, I'm aiming for kind of like a, a temple grounds or something, you know, where it's broken ground with lots of bricks and, and stuff in between. Um, so this one, I think I mixed it a little bit too thick. Uh, maybe, maybe could have done a little bit more paint. Here I am with a napkin um, cleaning off the bricks themselves. I'm just giving them a, a wipe down just so there's not as much material on them. So here it is all painted and primed up. And I did this first so that I could then glue stuff on top of it and know that it's very well primed. Um, and it gets a good, you know, adhesion and stuff. So, so here we go. We're assembling the feet. Um, and then from there, the, the legs. Uh, next, I figured I wanted something a little bit more interesting than just a claw at the end of it, so I wanted a sword. Um, so I'm doodling that, kind of how that would look. Uh, next, I carved that out of two pieces of plastic card. Uh, we sandwiched them together, and then I scratched and dented it on uh, one side after beveling with the knife very carefully. Um, and this gave the blade, you know, that kind of signature blade look. Um, so then to install it, I added, you know, Greeblies from my bits box just to kind of pad out, you know, make it look a little bit more cyber robot cool, you know, a little bit more in universe, um, but while keeping that shape uh, and the blade, you know, the, the chipped edge of the blade. And so here it is with the torso attached and we got each of the gun assemblies finished. Um, You'll see I installed Greeblies on some panels and stuff just to, you know, hide various Space Marine emblems and logos and writing and stuff. And here's the final primed model. It's that magical moment when it goes from looking like glued together trash to something actually cool. And I love this moment on all of my builds. It's, it's what really makes it worth it. Come back inside after the prime and you're like, wait, this looks like a real sculpture. Doesn't look like garbage anymore. I also made sure to prime the mask off the primer for the weapons uh, so that they can be both posable and also removable. Uh, the fit was really nice and snug, so I didn't want to ruin that with any sort of primer. So I, I masked the posts and the holes too. And now to war. If you like this, uh, please comment or subscribe. Uh, if there's enough interest, I'll do a painting video of it. Thanks.